Dude's Chooch back with another one today. We're gonna be looking at this. This is the new B Goat EX2S, and this is a sick wheel, guys. This is the new one that is. It looks a lot like the B Goat Hero. This is gonna be a long range, high end cruising wheel, guys. This, I mean, look at the size of the battery packs on the side. It's they're simply huge, and we're gonna be going over a few of the differences on this wheel as opposed to the other one. A few of the specs. It looks similar, but it is a completely different beast, guys. Different frame on this, too, to accommodate these large batteries. But basically, this thing is going to be 3,600 watt hours. This wheel is going to be essentially the, the Sherman with more range. It's going to be a high torque wheel, so it's going to be able to climb trails and those steep hills and everything like that that the Sherman kind of lacked on. That's one thing that a lot of people didn't like about the Sherman is that thing, um, it lacked on the climbing ability, uh, like torque-wise, coming up trails, like switchbacks and stuff that I told you about. I hated that with the Sherman. If you rounded a switchback and you're going up a mountain, it had no torque getting up it. This is going to address that. So you're going to have a ton of range on this thing. It's going to be a heavy wheel, guys. It's going to be a 100-pound wheel. The Be Good Hero, the one that, that I think people are going to really buy, the other one, which is this one right here. So that is the EX2S. This has not even been released on eWheels yet for pre-order, guys. Seeing this a few um, days or weeks later, you can pre-order that wheel in the links below, and it helps the channel. Greatly appreciate it. However, this is the one that I think people are going to be buying, guys. This, this is the B-Goat Hero. And I think a lot of you have seen this wheel in Facebook posts, forums, etc. This is going to be 1,800 watt hours. So you can look at this wheel as essentially like the RST with suspension on it. So this is going to be like the B-Goat RST M Super Pro that whole dynamic of wheels that we've loved for years that the whole community has embraced the guy you can't deny this guys you look at the races you go to any of those races out there i went to two of them last year and everybody out there had gotways b goads gotways whatever you want to call it everybody had these wheels and this is going to be essentially the wheel that everybody raced but it's going to have suspension on it so that is going to this is going to be a hot product right here i'm telling you guys and a lot of you may overlook of it, look at a lot of you King Song guys may scoff at this thing, but I'm telling you guys, this thing is going to be like the S18 on steroids right here. The B-Goat Hero is a sweet wheel. You got an LCD dis display on the top. The other one doesn't. So this one does not have an LCD uh, display on it. Wheels for what type of rider is going to buy this wheel? And then what type of rider is going to buy this wheel over here? And, and for what reasons? So this, the Be Good Hero right here, this one's going to be 1,800 watt hours, guys. Like I said, this is going to be just your traditional 1,800 watt hours. The motor power in this guy is 2,800 watts. So you can look at this as like the EXN. This is going to be like the EXN with suspension. That's the way I look at it. But it's going to not have the range the EXN has. So it's going to be lighter weight, which people want. So people wanted a little bit more range on their 18 egg or their s18s and the s18 had like if i'm not mistaken about 1100 watt hours of, of battery power and this one's going to be 1800 watt hours so this is going to be enough to be able to to not have those cutouts from that people were having from hitting big jumps and landing and needing that power there this is going to have that power there available to either accelerate you or stop you when you, you need it you know that that's it, it'll be it'll be available with this wheel without being too heavy great design this plastic fairing around here you don't see this on the other wheel and the reason being guys is because they needed all the space they could get on this platform for these battery packs 3600 watt, watts of battery how are you going to do that without making the wheel extremely wide they just did it by putting them in metal casing so you don't need a big huge unnecessary case they just put the batteries straight in a medical in a metal case made a no frills frame and then put some nice foot pedals on it and then on the sides right here guys these power pads that come on it 
this is this whole channel system is like the new Burton snowboards where you can adjust these up and down so you can see these power pads they're gonna be adjustable you'll be able to slide that down and you'll be able to slide this one up or down whatever way you want and and get them the dialed in which is perfect I mean that's an ingenious idea I love this whole headlight design up here guys like that is really cool it looks like they just honestly used four of the headlights from the other wheels but they put them in like a cool bracket up here and that metal bracket just screws in and I think on this wheel guys um, Loctite is going to be your friend I think over time you might have some stuff coming loose because of this new design where all the bolts aren't necessarily like in an internal um, plastic shell so like some red Loctite dude on this would just keep every one of these in fine and I think this thing is going to be absolutely stellar you can see right here there's a fan under this uh, fairing right here this whole metal fairing is going to be a cool for cooling and your LC your uh, control board will be on top and this is going to be directed right at the wind winds going to come straight in here and you also have a fan blowing up under on your control board I think that's ingenious design um, you know like I said in here just looks like Loctite is going to be your friend on, on this wheel 100% we don't know yet might be fine look they're even using like lock washers on the back of every one of these bolts see that so that's awesome dude suspension I think it's gonna be modular I think you're gonna be able to put whatever you suspension from whatever um, other you know mountain bike whatever company you want in here and you'll be good to go with this whole thing up on the top we're actually seeing some welding for the first time in here if you look closer in the other um, other pictures this whole area under here around this under here this whole back fairing is actually a TIG welded into place guys I looked under there it's not the best TIG welding job but it is welding on these unicycles and I said this years ago I said I want to see a company like KTM Yamaha Yamaha or KTM Yamaha Yamaha uh, or Honda or Suzuki or something like that like one of the big dirt bike brands take on a unicycle and make this thing look like a dirt bike and make it actually where there's you know limited plastic on it where there's um, nice welds on it like you would see like on a nice uh, Austrian made KTM you'd see those nice welds on the back of it and then like this thing imagine a unicycle made by KTM and I think this would be the closest thing to it so imagine just some orange on uh, some orange on this thing and some KTM stickers dude or like whatever company you want to call it from whatever motorcycle manufacturer and we're getting pretty close to looking like something you're getting from an actual like motorcycle retailer uh, manufacturer I should say and that is awesome that's exactly what I wanted but the EX2S is going to be a pretty penny guys I'm not ex exactly sure how much this thing is going to be yet uh, because it is not available for pre-order on e-wheels yet and um, we'll just have to see going forth but let's go ahead and check e-wheels real quick actually so this is the b goat hero and this is available right now you can order this right now guys if you want to they don't even have a firm price yet on this thing but this is going to be your trail riding suspension wheel guys and i this is seriously the one i want over pretty much all of them and just because you, I won't be afraid to bash this wheel with this one I'm gonna be able to just take it out there have fun on it rip it around you get the same nice encased batteries in that those nice shells these are just not as thick so you see these battery battery cases right here um, if you look at it they are just not as thick as as these batteries right here they're about half is half the size on each side and then they're surrounded by that uh, plastic fairing that's pretty much the only difference but this wheel right here is going to be great for trail riding, bashing, sweet headlight on this thing. It just looks like a just like a good enduro riding wheel, like good trail riding, like a dirt bike, but in a electric unicycle form. And you got an LCD display up there. Come, you can pick, which is awesome on this wheel, guys. You can pick if you want the street tire or the knobby tire fitted from the factory. Um, at 1800 watt hours, like I said, it's not going to be too heavy. My M Super, when I go ride the M Super that's the one that's 1800 watt hours and I can go ride that thing all around and have a great time on it and I'm never really concerned too much about range with that wheel but other times I want to take the EXN out and I want to go on a way longer range ride 
and you just got to think about that guys so you get the the new upgraded battery packs in this thing and i think it's going to definitely be a solid wheel uh, a good option for the guys that want to trail ride hard and hit jumps this is going to be it and and i think that that it's going to be a, a durable wheel too and you're not going to have to worry about too much stuff bending or breaking with this wheel with this one this is going to be for all the guys out there that that wanted a veteran sherman but wanted to be able to jump on it this is it dude this is literally a veteran sherman with a little bit more range with 400 more watt hours and the motor in it is 500 more watts so it's going to be more powerful all around and it's going to have suspension so you're going to be able to go about a hundred miles on this wheel guys and go as hard as you want to I, you'll be able to go way over 100 miles of range on this thing if you're just taking it easy casual riding just cruising but the cool thing about this wheel guys is you'll be able to ride it as hard as you possibly want to for about 100 miles like i'm talking literally cranking on this thing i'm talking about jumping it riding it up hills through mountains really really riding this thing like a dirt bike for 100 miles because 3,600 watt hours, guys, will let you do that. 3,600 watt hours is simply insane. That's a ton of battery power. You'll be able to get, literally, if you go easy on this thing, go 130, 140, 150 miles just cruising at like 20 miles an hour. And, but if you just want to crank on it and ride it as hard as you want to through mountains and everything like we have in Colorado out here, this is going to open up a huge window to being able to adventure ride and just do what, like, I'm talking... A two-day adventure is what you'll be able to do on this. Go camping somewhere where you don't even have access to power. Go on a two-day adventure in the mountains with this wheel through crazy terrain. Like, this is going to be the type of stuff you'll be able to do with this wheel. It's going to be awesome. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to give you all, like, a, a quick comparison of these two wheels. Um, you know... Suspension travel on them is going to be the same, same 80 millimeters of suspension travel on both of them. This one, the this one's only going to be available with a high torque motor. The EX2S is only going to be available with a torque motor. The other one will be available with high torque, high speed. Both of them are 100 100.8 volts. This is this one is 7,000 lumen headlight. Let's check the other one. This is a 5,000 lumen headlight on the B-Goat Hero on this one. 2,800 watt motor on the B-Goat Hero. Like I said, 3,000 watt on the EX2S. And this one is 10 pounds lighter. So this is about 10 pounds lighter than the other one. This one's about nine, uh, This one's going to be about, about 90 pounds. The other one's going to be about 100 pounds. Anyways, dudes. I just wanted to give y'all a quick look at these two wheels. I'm sorry I don't have them in hand right now, but I did the best I could with, you know, being able to just give y'all my insights and, and what's available on the website and whatnot. Um, if I can get them for review, as soon as I can, I'll get some videos out there for you guys showing y'all what's up with these things. I'm super excited about it. Um, to put it simple, the this wheel is going to be for your everyday rider that wants to hit jumps, bash, crash, have fun with the wheel, not worry about it too much, and just, you know, adventure ride. And pretty much the RST with suspension. This is for your guys that have big money, are retired probably, and want to go long range cruising and um, just want, just have money for the sickest wheel because this thing's going to be a lot more expensive, but it's going to be um, your long range cruising wheel that can just go forever i mean and this is going to be what a lot of the guys out there i think uh 40 plus are going to eat this wheel up because you're able to just get on this thing and just ride as far as you want to with that beautiful suspension in there and it's a high torque wheel and it's a 3000 watt motor and it's going to be able to go fast and go far and take all the bumps so this thing right here is sick though but it's just not going to be your jumping and trail riding and bashing and trick wheel this is just going to be your cruiser right here and be your cadillac baby this is the cadillac escalade right here anyways dudes it's been chooch if y'all enjoyed the video throw the thumbs up and i'll see you dudes 
in the next one.